This is a quick run through highlighting Rudderstack's Data Governance API. First, what is the Data Governance API? This feature was designed to help data engineers and developers integrate data governance on the Rudderstack event stream into their own existing workflows. As opposed to a UI that can be cumbersome, especially at scale, we developed this API to make event diagnostics available programmatically. The API has multiple features, but we'll talk about the main ones in this overview, getting event models and getting versions of event schemas. Note that most of our customers integrate the API into their existing workflow, but in this overview, we're going to use Postman to visualize the workflow. All right, let's jump in with a real life example. Let's say a product manager notifies you that there seems to be a problem with product purchase events that are coming from your e-commerce site. Those are creating issues in a downstream tool called Braze. Let's investigate using the Data Governance API. We'll start by using the event model endpoint to see if there are multiple versions of the product purchased event. Let's grab our write key from the e-commerce site SDK, place it in the call, and grab the returned data. If we look at the events, we can see that there are indeed multiple versions of the product purchase event. Notably, one version is called product underscore purchased and the other is called product space purchased with a difference in capitalization. Notice that the API returns the total count of events as well. There's a lower number of occurrences of the product underscore purchased event, suggesting that that one might be causing the issue. After confirming that someone made a mistake instrumenting that event, we can quickly fix the problem using a simple transformation on the Braze destination in Rudderstack. Now let's say that someone in analytics notifies us that some of the product purchase events have information on whether an item is a sale item and other events don't, but there's been requests for reports that show sales status for every product. Using the Data Governance API, we can look into the variance in properties being sent with a primary product purchase event. We'll grab the event ID and send it to the event version's endpoint. We can see that there are two versions of this particular event. When we diff the payloads, it becomes clear that the latest version of the event includes a new property called sale item. After confirming with downstream teams that this value needs to be included on all product purchase events, we can update our transformation to check for the sale item property and set it to false if it doesn't exist. As I mentioned before, our customers have implemented all kinds of workflows for leveraging these event diagnostics, including direct CI CD integration. One of our customers even developed an open source Google Sheets plugin that allows them to pull event data from the Data Governance API and share Google Sheets with product managers to collaborate on schema updates. You can sign up for Rudderstack today and ask our team about enabling the Data Governance API in your account to give it a try.